What's up guys, Comstart here. Um, today I want to show you a strategy that I figured was quite convenient for me. Uh, when I was doing my uh, Wakener kills, I found out about this one about two days ago. And uh, yeah, I just want to get straight into it. So the vortexes that are on the arena when you enter the arena are all uh, stationary. These here are stationary. Um, and this is roughly how they're located. Here you enter the arena, you go between the two and a little bit down and you'll find Cyrus right here. So after phasing Cyrus, he will make another one, uh, another orb and a uh, vortex. And uh, what you want to do with this, assuming like you have, this is obviously assuming that you have this type of damage and just overall management, because it could still become a clusterfuck. But I found this to be very convenient uh, in in a way, and since most people have issues with the um, the vortexes. Uh, this is a very easy way to to lure the vortexes. So this will be a vortex that is not stationary. It will chase you whenever you're close to it. So what you want to do, you want to bring this vortex right here. Bring it over here. And walk up here. To then go back into the fight here. This vortex will now be uh, placed here. Correct? So that's the moving one, so we're going to say that is a M. Right, so now he's down to about 75% health or 80% health, whatever. Uh, you phase him again, he'll make another vortex. Now the vortex will again be placed around him. You'll be standing here. What you want to do with this one, you want to make that vortex, um, you want to move it over over here. and how you want to do that is by just simply walking there right because it will chase you now you will now have two there and as you can see getting out of this situation is going to be hard there's a very narrow passage so what you want to do in this case you want to go for a suicide strategy so you want to lure both these you want to lure them even further to the corner there and then you want to die here what will then happen is that when you die and you stay in the death screen, they will go on top of you. Um, it's a very cheesy way of doing it. If you then go back into the fight, um, both of them will be stacked on top of each other here and you'll not have to deal with it again. You now have a clear arena again. On the next phase, he's going to spawn another one after 25, another 25% 25 health. You want to lure that one either over here and then dash through here or you want to alert up here and go around here so you either move it there or you move it there uh, anyway let's get into the vault i have a vault where i do this exact strategy and it is already voiced so i'm going to go ahead and mute myself here and uh yeah let's get straight into it <laughs> why go deathless when you don't have to Oh yeah, I'll definitely fucking lure that. I'll definitely suicide it. Oh my god, why is it? Okay. Let's get it up here first, this one. And then take both. And get them down there. See, now they're both gonna come to me. 
Now they're both on top of me. Then I respawn and my arena is now clear. I don't have to care about those anymore because I won't be in the range where I drag them out again. See, and basically it resets the arena. They're down there. I don't give a shit about them. Better. So the last one I'm actually gonna bring to the other side. So I don't know if the f he is, he has spawned it already right now. But I'm, he might have, but oh no, he's busy spawning. So this one I'm gonna lure to this side. And then up here. The other two are still all the way on the bottom side and they're like not even close. Then I'm gonna walk around the big one over there. Walk around this one. Back in here. And that is the final. This is the one. 